Good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory to God for this wonderful day that He has given to each and every one of us to celebrate His goodness, His mercies, His loving kindness. Amen. So today is the first Friday of the month of August. So we will have our Holy Communion later on. So please prepare your bread and your uh, juice so that we may all participate with the Holy Communion later on. Amen. But before that, let me share with you the sermon that God has put into my heart. Praise God, which is entitled, The Power of the Master's Touch. Amen. So if you have your Bible with you, please turn your Bible in Mark chapter 5, verse 35 to 43, and let us read it. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Do not be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the, the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and he said to her, Talita kum, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years of age. Hallelujah. At this, they were completely astonished. The Lord will bless the readings of His Word. May I invite everyone to just close your eyes and bow your heads. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. That today, Lord God, you are going to touch each and every one, Lord God. And you are going to bless us, Lord God. Father, I pray that through the power of your words, Lord God, may you enlighten our hearts and minds so that our faith will continue to grow in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, may you bless, Lord God, each and everyone who are listening with this message, Father God, and let them experience, Father, the touch, hallelujah, the, of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that you are here with us, for you have promised, Father God, that where there are two or three gathered together in your name, you are in the midst of them. So, Father God, we are confident that you are here with us, Lord God, and you will touch us, Lord God, by your righteous right hand. We thank you. To you be the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, you know, there is something wonderful about human touch. Amen. Pag sinabing hipo, meron pong isang bagay na dapat nating, uh, o na nararamdaman natin at naranasan kapag ka hinihipo tayo ng ating pong mga mahal sa buhay. Amen. For example, a touch of a mother, praise God. A touch of a mother can heal and comfort a crying child. Amen? And of course, the father, when they touch the, 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 her, their children, praise God, who are afraid, it brings peace and security to them. Amen? And to those who, are, who have friends, a friend's touch can comfort and encourage those people who are lonely and broken. Amen? And of course, the children, Praise God, a touch of a child can bring so much joy to their parents who are weary and tired after a long day of work. Amen. Kaya ang, ang paghipo, mga kapatid, o yung touch ay napaka-importante. Even when you are uh, angry, praise God, some, if somebody touches you, praise God, yung anger will sub subside. At lahat ng, lahat ng ito na experience natin. Amen. I believe na kapag uh, tinatapik tayo ng ating mga kaibigan, glory to God, bumababa yung atin pong uh, yung pressure yung, yung high blood natin oh, yung blood natin bumababa, bumababa yung pressure Amen? So, everyone needs touch, a touch Amen? I believe it I believe that Praise God A touch can help us in times of our sorrow A touch can help us when, when we are experiencing painful experiences Amen? When we are insecure and we are, when we are lonely Praise God and if we are experiencing loss, hallelujah, a touch can help us to cope, to, uh, to, uh, to cope up. Amen? So there is something wonderful as we, uh, about the, uh, the human touch, you know? that, because there is power on it. Amen? So regardless kung sino man yung humihipo sa atin o yung tumatapik sa atin, praise God, nararamdaman natin yung kapangyarihan nito. But, you know, we cannot deny the fact 
that human touch is limited because limited ang ating resources, limited yung ating time, even the distance. Okay? We are limited by the distance and space. Kaya yung malalayo sa atin, hindi na natin nagagawang hipuin. Amen? So, the human touch is very important. Amen? So, if you are going to think about, praise God, how much yung, yung, yung divine touch. Praise God. You see, think about of how much more important the divine touch is to the human uh, to the human lives. Praise God. Kung, kung, ang, kung napaka-importante ang human touch, how much more yung divine touch. Jesus Christ came into the world to touch and have contact with those around Him. Nakita natin yan sa maraming uh, mga pagkakataon sa Bible. Amen. His touch was the touch of God. Amen. Everyone, everybody, praise God, whom He touches, glory to God, have experienced the power of God in their lives. Amen. It is the touch of the Master. Amen. That, that changed the course of their lives. Amen. The touch of the Master, praise God, can change, hallelujah, the life of each and every one. Amen. So the Bible is full of stories that whatever and whoever Jesus touches, there is something good that happened to them. Amen. And there is always great result. Amen. And the effect of the touch of Jesus Christ is something that is very good to understand. Amen. So, pag-usapan muna natin, ano ba yung mga result? Result of the master's touch. Amen. So, ano ba yung mga result nito? The master's touch, number one, brings life. Alright? So, the master's touch brings life. If you are in a hopeless situation today, or if it seems like your situation is lifeless, by the touch of Jesus, it will come to life again. Amen? Kung meron mga sitwasyon sa buhay mo na sa tingin mo ay wala nang pag-asa, hopeless, lifeless, glory to God, you need the touch of God. It's the same thing that happened in Mark chapter 5, verse 41 to 42. Sabi dito, He took her by the hand and He said to her, you see, He took her by the hand. It was, it is the, uh, the, 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 the daughter of of Jairus, ano, na uh, patay na ito eh. Praise God. But sabi rito, He took her by the hand and said her, to her, Talita kum, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. Praise God. This girl was 12 years old, ano, sabi rito. So by the touch of Jesus, makita natin, the dead, the dead child of Jairus was brought to life again. In other words, praise God, even if it is a dead, ano, dead situation, praise God, barren or whatever, lifeless, glory to God, when the Lord Jesus Christ touches them, it will bring life, praise God, on the dead. Hallelujah. If your situation today is lifeless and hopeless or barren, you need the touch of God. Amen? Type amen in your chat box, praise God. If you need the touch of God, if you have an, a hopeless situation, if you, your, your situation if is lifeless, you have done everything that you could do, and yet, walang, walang nangyayaring maganda, praise God. Ginawa mo ng lahat, naubos na lahat ng resources mo, praise God, and yet, wala pa rin naging magandang resulta. Ang kailangan mo, praise God, is the touch of God. But there is something that I want you to learn from this story, ano? the story of the the daughter of Jairus, praise God. In Mark chapter 9, verse 39, uh, chapter 5, verse 39, sabi rito, He went in and said to them, so na, no, when Jesus Christ came to the house of Jairus, He saw the people are wailing and they are crying, you know, because they, they saw uh, Jesus, because they, they know that the daughter of Jairus was dead. Praise God. And sabi niya rito, and He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead but asleep. Amen. So patay na yung bata sa pagkakaalam ng marami pero sabi ni Jesus the child is not dead. He as she is asleep. Praise God. But when but they laughed at him. So pinagtawanan si Jesus. Ganyan yung marami sa atin ano na talagang pag nakita nila yung katotohanan na dead na, wala na, hopeless na. Praise God. Kapag may nagsabing may pag-asa pa yan, na pinagtatawanan ng maraming tao. At si Jesus naranasan niya to. And so, sabi rito, after he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. 
So, Jesus put outside those who laughed at him. Pakikita natin does the story. Gusto ko pong maintindihan natin ito. If you wanted to experience, praise God, the touch of God in your hopeless situation, praise God, hallelujah, remember, miracles have no room for those who are unbelieving and doubting. You see, Jesus Christ, when, he's, when he said, the child was not dead, he is just, she is just sleeping, pinagtawanan siya. It represents, napapakita ito, na itong mga tao na to ay walang pananampalataya kay Jesus. Amen? Pinapakita ng mga tao ito na hindi sila naniniwala sa sinasabi ni Jesus. Brothers and sisters, miracles have no room to those who are unbelieving and doubting. If you want to experience, brothers and sisters, a life-giving touch of Jesus, you must believe. Put your faith into action. Amen? Kailangan nating uh, isagawa o ikilos ang ating pananampalataya. You see, only the mother and the father of the young child, praise God, who were desperate, were able to witness the actual performance of the miracle of Jesus. Because they put their faith in Him. Amen? Amen? So, if you want to experience the touch of Jesus that brings life, glory to God, hallelujah, do not laugh when somebody says that you will be promoted. Do not laugh, no? Do not laugh when somebody said that you're going to find a good salary job. Amen? Minsan, may nagsasabi sa atin, huwag kang mag-alala dahil makakahanap ka ng trabaho. Kasi nakita mo, walang, wala nang, wala nang, uh, wala tumatawag sa'yo, Okay? Walang, in, walang, walang interesado sa CV mo na pinasa pero may mga tao nagsasabi sa'yo na huwag kang mag-alala, makakahanap ka ng trabaho yung iba sa atin siguro nagtatawa, wala na, wala na hopeless na situation ko remember this, if you want to experience the life-giving touch of Jesus praise God, do not laugh to those people who are telling you you will find a good salary job Amen? Do not laugh when somebody declares that you will have a boyfriend or girlfriend soon for those who are looking for their lifetime partner. Amen. Meron ba dyan? So type amen. <laughs> Praise God. Do not laugh. Sabihin, pag, misang kasi hindi na tayo makapaniwala kasi may edad na eh. Lampas na doon sa, sa age na, yung ideal age, ano? Kaya hindi na, ayaw na nating paniwala na makakahanap pa tayo ng lifetime partner. But remember this, ano? Do not laugh. Okay? Kasi hindi mo makikita yung yung uh, kamay ng Diyos sa yung sitwasyon. Amen? Okay? Do not laugh when somebody says that you will be promoted. Amen? Do not laugh when God says that you will become pregnant even if you are advanced in year. Amen? Kahit may edad ka na, magkakaanak ka pa rin, kapatid. Amen? Huwag ka lang tatawa. Huwag mo lang pagtatawanan yung mga, yung mga salita ng Diyos. Amen? God can bring life to the barren aspect of our lives. Amen? Amen? Because God has the power to do it. And no one can hinder that. Amen? Praise the Lord. Type Amen in your chat box. I, my life will be changed. Praise God. Your life will be changed when, the, when, when Jesus Christ touches you. Hallelujah. So there's, that's the first uh, result of the Master's touch. Ano? Second result of the master's touch is the master's touch brings healing. So read Matthew chapter let us read Matthew chapter 20 verse 34 and sabi dito and Jesus in pity touched their eyes and immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. So you see yung mata ng bulag na ito ay pinagaling ng Panginoon. It brings healing. Matthew chapter 8 verse 3 then Jesus put out his hand and touched him saying I am willing. Be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. So the blind will see. Praise God. The deaf will hear. The lame men walk. Okay? Sick are healed. The leprous were cleansed. Amen. Any manner of sicknesses and diseases can be healed by the touch of Christ. Amen. Kaya sa oras na ito, kapatid, if you are sick today, hallelujah, what you need is the touch of Jesus. Whatever kind of sicknesses and diseases that you may have, even if you are infected with COVID-19 virus, glory to God, by the touch of Jesus, you will be healed. 
He can heal. He can restore. He can make you whole. Amen. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He, if He was able to heal those people in His time, the Bible says He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. He will heal you, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. Kaya kahit anong sakit at karamdaman niyan, just, just claim the power that is working through the power of the touch of Jesus. Amen. Number three, the master's touch makes the impossible possible. Hallelujah. So, dito sa, sa story, sa John chapter 6, makikita natin ang story ng ng uh, nang napakainin ni Jesus ang multitude ano the 5000 men not including the the women and the the children praise god so this story was written in the four go, four gospels in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John para ipakita mga kapatid na si Jesus ay totoong gumagawa ng himala amen so for the disciples it is impossible for them to feed the people for some reasons Napakaraming reason ng mga disciples nung, nung sabi ni Jesus Okay, pakakainin natin sila Itong 5,000 men na to Nako, nagkagulo na yung mga disipulo ng Panginoon Dahil napakaraming lang nakitang reason eh Okay, and sometimes ano These reasons might be the same reason that we have in mind Amen If we are, When we are going through impossible situations Yung same reason ng mga disipulo might be our reason. Amen? Ganon din natin tinitingnan yung sitwasyon natin. Praise God. Ano ba yung mga reasons na ito? Okay? Unang-una, sabi nila, there is not enough resources. John chapter 6, 6 verse 7, sabi yun, Philip said, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them that any one of them may have a little. Amen? So, kwentado na kagad ni Philip yung gagas to sin. At ganito yung ating pong uh, uh, reason minsan, ano? Kapag dumadaan tayo sa mga mabibigat na pagsubok sa buhay natin, kwentado na natin kung magkano yung gagastusin. Amen? And that's the reason why we cannot experience the touch of God. Because nilimitahan na natin ng Panginoon. Amen? And so, there is not enough resources, sabi ni Peter, ni, ni Philip, ano? Kasi, sabi nga niya, ano? Kahit na 200 denarii worth of bread, praise God, is not sufficient for them that any one of them may have a little. Kahit isang kagat, kahit kapurit, ay hindi sila makakain. Kahit ganun kar karaming tinapay ang bilhin natin sa dami ng mga taong ito. Amen? Praise God. So, sa economy, mga kapatid ng mundo, talagang hindi uubra. But God, sabi ng Bible, ano, He is not limited with the resources of this world. Amen? Because He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond what we could ask or think. Praise God. Now, in Matthew chapter 14, verse 7, ang sabi dito, when the day has now, when the day was now far spent, his disciples came to him and said, this is the deserted place, and already the late, the hour is late. So, yung pangalawang reason, mga kapatid, na makikita natin, na mga disciples, sabi nila, this is, uh, this, we are in a deserted place. This is a deserted place. Mga kapatid, ano ba yung deserted place? Ito yung lugar na kung saan malayo sa kabiasnan. Amen? Malayo sa kabiasnan, mahirap bumili, dahil malayo, kailangan mong mag-travel ng ilang, ilang kilometro. Praise God. Nandun tayo sa hulo o nasa, nasa bukid tayo. Wala tayo sa city. Amen? So, no, you know, God is the God who is everywhere. Amen. He can perform miracles even in a place which is unfavorable for us. Amen. A place wherein deserted. Isang lugar kung saan wala kang po pwedeng, uh, walang resources. Amen. You know, church, ito po yung isang bagay na gusto kong sabihin sa bawat isa. God can bless you wherever you are. Amen. Even you are in the city or outside the city, God can make a miracle. God can make the impossible possible. Praise God. So, kaya kahit saan man tayo naroon, mga kapatid, sabi nung iba, pag, paano na kami pag umuwi sa Pilipinas? Paano na kami pag ganito na? Paano na kami? Paano na kami mabubuhay? Paano ko bubuhay ng aking pamilya pag ganito? Pag ganyan, ang dami nating, pinag, uh, ang dami nating mga uh, worries. 
Amen. Same thing with this with his disciples. We are in the deserted place, sabi niya. Sabi nila. Saan tayo kukuha ng 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 res- wala tayong resources. Even 200 denarii, sabi niya, worth of bread is not sufficient. Praise the Lord. So mga kapatid, you know, kapag ang Diyos ay hinipo ang isang bagay. Kapag ka ang kamay ng Panginoon ay kumilos sa atin pong mga buhay. Whether you are in a deserted place, whether you are in the city, glory to God, the, the, the impossible things will become possible. Amen? Amen? And then, isa pang reason kung bakit ang mga disciple ng Panginoon nag-aalala, no? Sabi niya, the hour is late. Mark chapter 6, verse 35, letter C. Sabi niya, already the hour is late. So, you know, God is not bound by time. Amen? He is the one who holds the time. He can perform miracles at any time. He make all things beautiful in His time. Amen? He is neither too early nor too late. He's always on time. Amen? Ang timing ng Diyos, mga kapatid, ay always perfect. Okay? Sabi ng mga disipulo, gabi na. Wala na. Hindi na natin, ma- hindi, wala na tayong ma- ma- mabibili. Wala, nang, wala na tayong uh, pag-asa pa na may provide yung pangangailangan natin ngayong araw na to. Praise God. But you know, praise God, even if it is late, no? kahit na late na yung, yung, panah- yung oras, lahat, sa tingin natin ay late na, praise God, but with God, hallelujah, He make all things beautiful in His time. His time is always perfect. Amen? Now, you may be uh, bound with all these limitations, brothers and sisters. We may be bound with all these reasons. Maring valid yung reasons natin, mga kapatid. But God is able to work beyond any human limitations. Amen? Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, the Lord is good. Amen? It might be impossible with, with our human hands, ano, with our human minds, praise God. But with God, all things are possible. When Jesus touches them, praise God, the impossible will become possible. He always, praise the Lord. He is always one step ahead, brothers and sisters, with our situation. He is the beginning and the end. So He knows the beginning and He knows the end. Praise God. When Jesus Christ said to His disciples, let them sit down and we will feed them. You will be the one to feed them. The, the disciples, praise God, uh, they, they panic because they don't have enough food to give to these people, praise God. But yung, yung problema yun, ano, is just a test for His disciples. In John chapter 6, verse 6, sabi niyan, He asked this only to test Him, for He already had in mind what He was going to do. So in other words, brothers and sisters, before Jesus Christ allowed you to be in a situation that is impossible for you to bear, Jesus Christ knew already what He will do. He knew already the, dis- the solutions for your problem. Amen? Kaya we should not panic because God knew already beforehand. Hallelujah! What He will do. It is just a test of our faith. Amen? Amen? I want you to type in your chat box, God is good. Amen? He is a miracle working God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So the fourth, uh, result of the master's touch is the master's touch multiplies. Amen. John chapter 6, verse 8, 9, and verse 11. Sabi dito, One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish. But what are, the, what are they among so many? Then Jesus took the loaves gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did after, Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Amen. Makita natin dito ang, uh, ang available na pagkain para sa kanila is just uh, two fishes and five loaves. Right? Pero kaya ang sabi ng mga disciples, Pero gano'n na lang ba ito sa ganyang kadaming tao? Amen? Gano'n na lang ba ito sa ganyang karaming tao? 5,000 men, that including the women and the children. Amen? So, five, five loaves and two fish, 
is not enough kasi pagkain lang ito ng bata. Sapat lang ito para sa bata. You know, ito po yung malaking bagay na gusto nating bigyan ng uh, diin. Ano? Na whatever is available for us, okay? whatever is available in our hands, God can use it to bring, to bring, hallelujah, His miracle. Amen? God can multiply whatever resources, praise God, that is in our hands. God will multiply your resources beyond measure if you are just willing to lay them down at the Lord's feet. Can you imagine the lad, sabi doon, isang maliit, isang paslit na bata, ang may daladalang pagkain, maaari yung iba, meron din namang baon, pero they did, they did not lay their, their food to the, the, to the feet of Jesus. Only this lad, only itong little boy na ito, ang naglakas loob na mag-lay down ng kanyang baon. Praise God. Ni hindi man lang pinangalanan yung bata. Amen? Walang pangalan yung bata na, na binabanggit dito sa Bible. Praise God. But God used His resources. Hallelujah. To feed the many. Amen? God used His resources. Hallelujah. And multiplied His resources so that people may eat. Praise God. So, the boy's willingness to give everything that he has made it possible for everyone to be fed. Through the five barley loaves, amen, small barley loaves and two fishes, praise God, that was multiplied, people were filled. Amen. Na nabusog ang lahat. Amen. M mga kapatid, I just want you to understand, praise God, whatever things that is in our hands, amen, when you lay them down to the feet of Jesus, you offer them to Jesus, it will be multiplied. Amen. Amen. How big or how small your uh, resources might be. Okay? If you will allow the Lord to touch them, it will surely be multiplied. Amen. I know marami sa atin nag-aalala. Lord, if I will give this, so paano na ako? Ano na yung para sa akin? Okay? Kukunti na nga yung sa akin, eh, ibibigay ko pa sa iyo. Brothers and sisters, it is just a test of our faith. Amen. Now, during this time of pandemic, brothers and sisters, ito yung nakikita natin. People are afraid to lay down their resources at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ because they are afraid na wala na sila, mawawala na sila. But no, that is not correct. Amen. That is not true. Once you lay down your resources at the feet of Jesus Christ, God will multiply them. Same thing that has happened to this, uh, to this lad. Ano? Jesus touched the the resources praise god the small fish and the five loaves praise the lord and then it multiplied and the people was fed hallelujah and ano nagkaroon pa ng uh, sobra no ilang basket 12 full basket ano? 12 full bas uh, 12 labindalawang basket na puno ng pagkain ang sumobra so brothers and sisters glory to god the touch of Jesus is very powerful. Amen. It is a powerful touch that gives life, amen, to the lifeless. The touch that heals, praise God. The touch of Jesus, praise God, makes impossible possible. Hallelujah. It's the touch, praise God, that multiplies. Glory to God, brothers and sisters, this time, katulad ng, ng ginawa ng batang ito, I want to challenge each and every one of you. If you want your resources to be multiplied, Hallelujah. Sabi ng iba, eh, kalahati ng alang yung sinusweldo ko. Pa, ibibigay ko pa yung para sa Panginoon. Ilalagay ko pa sa pit ni Jesus. Try me in this, sabi ng Panginoon. Subukan ninyo ako dito. And I will, then I will open the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will be no, no room for you. No room enough for you to store it. Amen. God is challenging us. Amen. You see, kahit doon sa story ng babae sa panahon ni, ni Elijah no? o ni Elisha, praise God, yung kanyang langis na natitira, ibinigay niya doon sa, sa man of God. And you see, hallelujah, the flow of the, the oil never stop until wala na silang malagay, malag, mapaglagyan na container. Praise God, it's the same thing that God will do with you today. Hallelujah, do not hold back. Praise God. Remember, at the touch of Jesus, there will be miracle. Amen? The touch that changed lives, praise God, 
the touch that strengthens, praise God, the touch of Jesus can transform. The touch of Jesus can bring peace and comfort to each and every one. It brings the touch that brings hope. Hallelujah. The touch that can remove a curse of poverty and sicknesses and diseases. It is the touch that makes us whole, brothers and sisters. Do you want to experience the touch of the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. You see, the touch of the Lord can bring life. It, perform, it, it brings miracle. Amen. It brings multiplication with your resources. But the question is, how can we experience the master's touch? Hallelujah. Let's go back to our verse. You know, in Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 23. And then we will jump to verse 35 to 36. Sabi rito, And when Jesus had crossed over again by the boat for, to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of synagogue came, okay, Jairus by name. And when they saw him, he fell at his feet and begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. Verse 35, While he was still speaking, some came to the ruler of the synagogue's house, who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the master any farther? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. Praise God. How can we experience the touch of Jesus Christ in our lives? There are four things that we must do. Praise God. Based on the, the experience of Jairus. You know? Based on the story of Jairus, there are four things that we must do. Number one, sabi dito, so verse 22, One of the rulers of the synagogue came. Praise God. The rulers of the synagogue came. In other words, we have to come to Jesus personally. He was the ruler of the synagogue. Amen. Siya ay isang mataas na, na tao pang, sa, sa lipunan. Kilalang tao. But he came to Jesus. Amen. He personally came to Jesus and asked for help. Amen. And then, number two, he fell at his feet. Okay? So, he was a ruler of the synagogue. In other words, matas na tao to, kilalang tao, pero he fell at the feet of Jesus. In other words, we have to humble ourselves before the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus personally, humble ourselves before Him, and then, sabi dyan, verse 23, and beg Him earnestly. Amen? In other words, we should ask, okay? Ask earnestly for miracle. Ask for the miracles of God. Hallelujah. Because only Jesus can do miracles in our lives. And then lastly, in verse 36, As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, He said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. The fourth one is, we have to believe that He can. Jesus can do all things. Amen. Jesus can perform miracles. Brothers and sisters, if you want to experience the mighty touch of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the touch of the Master, hallelujah, we have to come to Jesus Christ personally. Amen. Wherever you are, whatever your position in life is, hallelujah, you have to come to Jesus personally and humble before Him. Humble down before Him. Praise God. It needs humility. Praise God. And then, ask for a miracle. He begged for the miracle to Jesus. Hallelujah. And so that is what God wants us to do. Praise God. We need to ask Him. Ask for miracles. And the Bible says, do not be afraid. Jesus Christ said, do not be afraid. Only believe. We should believe that God can. Amen. He can perform miracles upon miracles. This time, brothers and sisters, I don't know what your what you are going through today. I don't have any idea what you're going through. But God knows you very well. Better than you know yourself. Amen. Kilala ka ng Diyos, kapatid. At hindi na itatago sa Panginoon ang iyong pinagdaraanan. You may have uh, needs, no? Meron, ka mang, meron kang pangangilangan ngayon. O maring maybe you are sick today and you are at your 
uh, at your bed lying right now, praise God, any manner of sicknesses and diseases, brothers and sisters, if you will just allow Jesus Christ to touch you today, you will be healed. Any sicknesses, named and unnamed sicknesses, praise God, no matter, no matter what it is, God can heal you. Amen? Kailangan mo lang gawin, lumapit ka kay Jesus personally. Amen? Ikaw mismo. Hindi po tinataboy ni Jesus ang sino mang lumalapit sa Kanya. Whether you are the worst sinner in, the, in this world, you can come to Jesus and ask for His blessings. If you, are, if you, are, if you know, or if you think that you are the, most, uh, wor the worst sinner, you can come to Him and ask forgiveness and He will forgive you. Believe me, brothers and sisters, He can change your life. The touch of Jesus can change the lives of each and every one. So if you are here today and you are willing to receive the touch of Jesus and to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the day that the Lord has made for you. Amen? We will pray together. Never mind the person beside you because Jesus Christ is excited. Hallelujah. Excited to receive you as His son and His daughter. Praise the Lord. So if you are ready, glory to God, just close your eyes, bow your heads, and let us pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord God, na sa oras na ito, Panginoon, ay nireveal mo, Panginoon, ang iyong kalooban sa bawat isa. That through your touch, Lord God, the lifeless, Lord God, will, will bring to life, Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and through your touch, Lord God, you, can, you are able to multiply our resources. You can make miracles, Father God. Hallelujah. You can heal those people who are in need, who are sick, Father God. And through your, your touch, Lord God, those impossible things, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God, will be possible. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I thank you, Father God, for the life of your children who are with me today, who are willing to, to uh, receive you as their Lord and Savior. Brothers and sisters, if you are willing, hallelujah, to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just lift up your right hand as a form of your uh, humility and surrender to, to the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. And say this simple prayer with me. Sabihin po natin, Lord Jesus, thank you for your words. I acknowledge, Lord Jesus, that I am a sinner. Today, I come to you. I humble myself before you. I want you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Please forgive me from all my sins. I open up my heart to you. And I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Sit upon the throne of my heart. Be my Lord and be my God and be my Savior from this day onwards. I surrender everything into your hands, Lord. Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For accepting me as your Lord, as your son and daughter in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, Lord God, for your miracle. Lord, I declare that I am your child in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, Lord. To you be the glory. I will be the one to pray. Father, I know that you are looking from heaven, Lord God, to us. I know, Father God, that your hands, Lord God, hallelujah, can touch your people right now. Father God, extend your hands towards the lives of your people. Lord, sa mga may sakit at karamdaman, I pray that you may heal them, Father God, from any manner of sicknesses and diseases. If they are in need, Lord God, kung kulang man ang kanilang mga resources, Father God, Lord, multiply the resources, O God. At kung meron mang mga, hallelujah, mga hopeless situation and lifeless situation in their lives, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, bring life into their, into their situation. If there is barrenness, Father God, Lord, make them productive and fruitful in the name of Jesus. Lord God, kung meron mga mga bagay na hindi na nila kayang mapagtagumpayan, Panginoon, sa kanilang buhay, na halos sila'y sumuko na, Panginoon. Father God, extend your righteous right hand, Father God, and Lord, embrace them, Father God, and comfort them, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. If they are broken today, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, comfort them and make them whole in the name of Jesus. Father, maraming salamat because 
Lord, your power is without measure. Your mercy, Lord God, is without ending, Father God. Lord, we know, hallelujah, that this time, Father God, you will continue to restore each and every one, Lord God, hallelujah. And Lord, everything that the devil has stolen, Lord God, will be restored upon each and every one of us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, even sa mga mahal namin sa buhay, Panginoon, saan man sila naroon, Lord God, We pray, I pray that you may touch them also, Father God. Ang aming mga nanay, mga magulang, mga tatay, Panginoon, mga kapatid, Father God, Lord, mga pamangkin, lahat ng mga relatives namin, Lord, mga kaibigan na nangangailangan, Lord, we lift them up to you also, Father God. Bless them exceedingly and abundantly, Father God. Lord, may you continue to bring life unto them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon, maging sa mga kapatid at mga kaibigan namin may sakit at kandaman. Lord, restore their Their health, their health, Panginoon, and their strength, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let them recover, Father God, from any manner of sicknesses and diseases. Father God, you are worthy to receive all the praises and glory. Thank you so much today, Lord God. We can ex- we are experiencing your touch, Lord God. Lord, salamat, Panginoon, for touching every aspect of our lives, Lord God. Financial aspect, Father God. Material aspect, Father God. Our families, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In all aspects of our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for touching us, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. To you be the glory forever and ever. In the name of Jesus Christ, this we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Right now, we are going to the partaking of the Holy Communion. Praise God. So, I hope na nakaprepare na po yung ating uh, bread at ang juice. Praise the Lord. So, para sa lahat po ng mga first time na magpa-participate sa uh, partaking of the Holy Communion, remember that we are doing this not because it is a ritual thing that we are doing every first Friday of the month. Praise God. It is one of the second, the, the, ordinances that the Lord Jesus Christ has given to His disciples. The first is the baptism of, in the water, praise God, the water baptism. And the second is the partaking of the Holy Communion. So as we partake the Holy Communion, brothers and sisters, ang sabi ay, ito po ay simbolo ng atin pong pag-alaala sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yesus doon sa Cruz ng Kalbaryo. He died on the cross instead of us. Tayo po yung dapat na nakapako doon sa Cruz ng Kalbaryo. So, balit, because of His great love for each and every one of us, all of, all of our sins, the sins of the world, hallelujah, ay pinasan ni Jesus doon sa kanyang balikat. At doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo ay, uh, ay uh, hinugasan niya ang ating mga kasalanan. Kaya sa pamagitan ng atin pong pagpagpartake ng Holy Communion, dinideklara natin na yung ginawa ni Jesus doon sa krus ay kaparaanan ng Diyos upang tayo ay maligtas. Wala pong ibang kaparaanan para isang tao ay maligtas. Hindi sa pamagitan ng kanyang pagsapi sa relihiyon, hindi dahil sa kanya mga mabubuting gawa, kaya ka maliligtas, hindi dahil sa siya ay isang relihiyosong tao, kaya siya maliligtas kundi dahil sa ginawa lamang ni Jesus sa pag sa pag uh, sa atin pong uh, paniniwala at pananampalataya doon sa ginawa ni Jesus doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo, yun lamang ang tanging paraan para tayo po ay maligtas. Kaya sa pamagitan ng pagpapartake ng Holy Communion, ito po yung isang deklarasyon. Amen? It is a declaration that we, as children of God, can only be saved through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Kaya sa oras na ito, praise God, uh, hawakan po natin ang atin pong uh, ang mga elemento, praise God, ang uh, fruit of the vine or juice na sumisimbolo sa katawan ng ating sa dugo ng ating Panginoong Hesus at ang tinapay na sumisimbolo sa katawan ng ating Panginoong Hesus at lahat po ay manalangin Father God we thank you for this day Lord God that you are uh, you continuously blessed us Lord God with all of your blessings in Calvary Father God Lord today as we continue Lord God to partake your your holy communion Lord may you bless each and every one Panginoon Lord if there is sin that you can see in our lives, Lord God. Father God, we confess them to you, Lord God. Lord, cleanse us by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Tapos po natin ang bread na sumisimbolo sa katawan ng ating Panginoong Isus. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the same night in which He was betrayed took bread. 
And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the bread. Tapos po natin ang uh, juice na sumisimbolo sa walang hanggang tipan ng ating Panginoong Isus, ang dugo na, ng walang bayad dungis ng kasalanan. In the same manner, He also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's partake it. Let's continue in the attitude of the prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for your blessings upon us. Indeed, you are good, you are faithful to your promises, that you will never ever leave us nor forsake us. Thank you so much, Lord God, for receiving us, hallelujah, as your sons and daughters. Lord, in the name of Jesus, sa lahat ng mga bagay, Panginoon, na ginawa mo at gagawin pa sa buhay namin, Lord, we will continue to serve you. We will continue, Lord God, to, to love you, O Lord God. And uh, we know, Father God, that you will continue, Father God, to bless us, Lord, even more. As sa lahat, Panginoon, na mga kapatid namin, Panginoon, na nanghihina, patuloy mo silang palakasin at hayaan mo, Panginoon, na sa pumagitan namin, Lord God, ng aming mga buhay, ay patuloy rin silang mapagpala, Lord God. Hayaan mong kami rin, Panginoon, ay maging instrumento, Lord God, para sila'y abutin sa kanilang kalagayan. Salamat, Panginoon, for every blessings that you are pouring out upon each and every one of us, Lord God. May you continue, Lord God, to bless each and every one accordingly. Hallelujah. And lo, we, Father God, we know, Father, that you will never ever leave us nor forsake us until the end of the ages. Thank you so much, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us lift up our hands towards the heaven. Hallelujah. May the love of the Father, the grace, and the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the power and fellowship of the Holy Spirit will continue to abide in us both now and evermore in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you all. See you next Friday.